naming 100 women. And we're going to see how fast I can do this. Uh, um, 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 I'm so stuck right now. March was Women's History Month, and to honor it, Cutie Cinderella decided to challenge a bunch of streamers to name 100 women as fast as they could. Some of them rose to the occasion, booted up a stream, and started naming women. Chat, today we have a brand new challenge. Out of the 15 she originally mentioned, I was able to find footage for 9 streamers. Slime, Dog Dog, Point Crow, Will Neff, Squeaks, Prezo, Pay Money Wobby, Northern Lion, and finally, Ludwig. I was quite intrigued by the results of each participant, mainly where they knew these women from, so I decided to analyze their performance. First, let's talk about the process. Then, let's check out what the global results were, and finally, go a little bit deeper into each individual performance to try and understand more about our favorite streamers and the women in their heads. So first I had to watch their respective streams and write down the women as they did. Some were pretty quick and some were somewhat slower. <laughs> After I collected these 900 names, I googled each woman one by one and wrote down their profession or the reason they're famous for. This was quite the daunting task, but especially so when the information they wrote wasn't sufficient to identify the specific woman they meant. Luckily, most of the time, they did explain what they meant when writing it down. If you ask me like survivor players, I feel like I can't get that right now. Parvati, Sandra, do I need to know? No, they're Google figures. For the women that I couldn't really find or the ones that just aren't valid, I categorized them as no clue. Thankfully, there weren't a lot of them. Actually, let's start looking at the stats while we're here. Because after correctly assigning a job to each woman, I could see which were the most popular ones. Our top five categories are actresses, streamers, musicians, that includes singers, politicians, and historic figures. But I wasn't really satisfied with these results, as some women were named multiple times. I wanted to see how many unique women were named. And the number went from 900 down to 550. Our top five category is still similar, but with musicians now being more numerous than streamers. This means that most people citing streamers were actually citing the same ones, whereas musicians were more diverse. As I was compiling the data, I was quite curious to see who was the most popular woman, and I was pretty puzzled because although some lists looked pretty similar, some others, and particularly Northern Lions list, was completely different as it did not include any streamer whatsoever. Because of that, the most popular woman amongst these nine streamers was Hillary Clinton. Every single person put her name on their list. Congrats, Hillary. You're the most popular woman. This is quite impressive as Michelle Obama, who was the example from the original tweet, was only named eight times, with Will Neff being the only one not to include her in his list. Sharing the second place with Michelle was Cutie Cinderella and Pokimane both also being named eight times. Congrats to both of them. Oh, and don't forget that you can pause at any time or check out the Google Sheet on Twitter if you want some more specific information about a particular name or a particular streamer. Now let's take a look at the top in some of our most popular categories. Our top five actresses wise were Sydney Sweeney, Tina Fey, Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Lawrence, and Zendaya. I think that's where we can start to see some interesting things, like the fact that people's brains seem to gravitate towards either iconic people or people that are trendy right now. Music-wise, we got Taylor Swift, Ayana Grande, and Beyonce. JK Rowling was the most popular writer. Porn actresses were quite the category too, with Lisa Ann being named by more than half of our participants. She was closely followed by Mia Markova and Riley Reid in that same category. Okay, back to our analysis, and let's start with slime. God, this is so hard when you're on the spot. Slime was 29 seconds faster than the average, with a time of 26.59. And his top category was actresses, with 42 names. He was actually second best in that category. He was also the one to name the most amount of writers. Finally, he was the one to name the lowest amount of musicians amongst these nine streamers. Overall, a pretty nice performance. Great job. Speaking of great performance, Dog Dog is next, and his performance is the opposite of that. I do not know how to spell this. Sack of Jawia? He was second slowest, about 10 minutes slower than the average time. His top category was streamers, and he named the second highest amount of them, 
with 28. He was, however, the one to name the highest amount of politicians. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. The absolute worst performance, by far, was Point Crow, who took about 46 minutes to name 100 women. That's about 18 minutes slower than the average. Oh, Mr. Uh, no, obviously not. That's stupid. <laughs> he did name the highest amount of streamers, 32, and YouTubers, 11 of them. So I guess he is the best one in that sphere. He was also the only one to name his editor and he has an amazing smile. Unfortunately, none of these things makes his performance more impressive. What is impressive is that he was able to name 100 Pokemon in about five minutes. I guess we know where your priorities lie, Eric. Will Neff is next, and he was four minutes faster than the average with a time of 2316. Uh... There's just one problem though. He seems that he only actually named 94 women, as some of his answers seem invalid. Examples include Mulan, Helen of Troy, and Eleanor Rigsby, all fictional characters, at least according to Google. But Will Neff did dominate a category, porn actresses, with an incredible 14 names. He actually named more porn actresses than regular actresses. Good for you, Will. Squeaks' time was 21.13 about six minutes faster than the average. And his top category was streamers. He was tied with Doug Doug for second place in that category actually, also naming 28 of them. Unfortunately, there's not much to say about Squeaks' performance, other than the fact that he named zero YouTubers and zero porn actresses. Although I guess compared to some other performance, that does deserve some kind of praise. Prezo is next. And man, this picture is hot, holy. I don't know now for Christmas, there is just one thing I need. I don't know what her name is. His time was 26.44, exactly 44 seconds faster than the average. His top category was musicians, and he actually named the most amount of them, with 36 total. Most of his list was written in all caps, as if he was screaming the names of each woman with all of his heart. If that's not respect, I don't know what is. Pay Money Wubby finished with a time of 37.08, about 9 minutes slower than the average. His graph is overall pretty well rounded, with his top category being actresses. He was tied for second place in regards to number of porn actresses named, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, nothing compares to our next participant, Northern Lion. You want to see something? You put a 1, click and drag this little box down here. Holy bro, can any other streamer compete with that? They're already numbered though. He finished with an impressive time of 6.58, about 20 minutes faster than the average time. He smashed the actresses category with 61 names. He's actually the only one to have more than half of his list be just one category. He was also the only one to name zero streamers, and hence the reason why Cutie Cinderella and Pokimane weren't named as many times as Hillary Clinton. He also named the highest amount of athletes, with six of them. The absolute best performance by far. Congratulations, Northern Lion. And while it's not easy to go after such an incredible time, Ludwig actually fared pretty well in this challenge. Bitches love Animal Crossing. With a time of 20 minutes and 30 seconds, he was second fastest and about seven minutes faster than the average. His top category was also actresses, with 34 of them. And it took him about five minutes to finally name his actual girlfriend. Classic blunder, Ludwig. Classic blunder. And finally, not that anyone cares, but I did do the challenge myself before analyzing the stats of all of these people. I didn't include myself in the global stats, but here's how I did. It took me 29 minutes and 57 seconds, about two minutes slower than the average and my top category was musicians. I did name more athletes than anyone else, but that's just because I'm really into rock climbing. So what did we learn from going through all of this? Well, we learned that there are about 550 women on this planet. So go and find yours. Thank you guys for watching.